Hi everyone, I thought it would be a change to do a little picture from the Matchstick Mouse Springtime Colouring Book. Now, um, I haven't done a Matchstick Mouse for a little while and I know a lot of you really enjoy these cute little pictures so I thought it would be nice to have a go. Um, I grabbed my Polycolor pencils. I find they are quite um, useful in these um, Amazon books. They work really nicely. So um, that's why I grabbed them. I'm just going to um, grab my colour name list for these because some of them have more than one name. And let's get going. Now, I thought with the sky, it's only a small amount of sky, so I thought we could do a sort of um, sunset slash rise on the sky. It's quite fun. I uh, it, and with it being such a small area of sky, if you are colouring along, hopefully it won't feel too daunting. So I'm going to start with a red. This is the Pyrrol Red, which is number 170, also known as Carmine. Okay, and I'm actually going to do the red, I think, at the bottom. So these are our bushes here, so our red's going to start somewhere along this edge here. So I'm just going to put a fairly heavy layer down just to start with, up to mouse there, goes in mouse of his mouth. We can start to um, lighten a little bit, lighten our touch. It's a bit darker down here though, in <laughs> tortoise's mouth. And then a bit lighter as we go up here. Now I try to keep sky with a horizontal direction of pencil unless I'm doing raining. If it's raining it's going to go the other way. Think about it. Sometimes you have to just do a slightly different angle just because of the gap you're filling. But usually it's okay. I'm just checking. I think that's all that we want in red. I don't up here is higher up, got a bit there. So I'll leave that and I'll move on to orange. I realise I could come in a little bit closer or oh, not too much. There we go. So my next colour, I'm basically working through the box. So if you're not using this brand of pencil, pick your sort of a red and now move on to an orange. This is the reddish orange, it is number five, or it is known as just orange. And I find the easiest way to do my next layer is to go on top of the old one to start with. Like that. It doesn't matter if you fade your red a little bit. The idea is that it stays smoother this way. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be one or two videos. I might make it into two if it gets a bit long. Because there's a lot of detail on this page, but I thought it was rather cute. As most of them are, to be honest. But they're, having a little bit more in it, I thought it would give me a bit more to show you. And just going back over that a little bit, because it's not quite dark enough for my liking. It's a very personal thing. And then just take it up and fade it like that. There we go. Now we still don't want anything up here yet. So I'm going to grab my next pencil. And this is called um, Persian Orange. I can't find it on my list. It's number 126. It must be one of my newer ones. Yeah. I've got it written down as 129. It's not. I'm going to go over this bit again here. I'm just going to sharpen it actually, but that's going to be the last bit I do in that little corner. What I'm confused about is I've messed up because look, that's a bush. Never mind, we'll, um, I know what we'll have to fiddle it, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm just putting that over there, I need to blank out that so it doesn't, that line disappear so it looks like it's sky. So this is a white Posca pen. Now you'd have to do this. If you haven't started copying me yet, you can do that as a bush. 
but as I've messed it up, I need to try and pretend that it's sky. <laughs> Whoops. Now you notice I don't get too stressed out about things going wrong. It happens all the time. And uh, yeah, my colouring is my enjoyment, my hobby, my fun, my relaxation. So I don't want to uh, get stressed if it doesn't quite go completely right. I'm just fading that up. Putting a little bit in over here and I need to do it over there but I'm going to put another layer of white on there first. Now colouring over white pen is really difficult I find. I think that will be my last layer, I need to let it dry. Let's, uh, let's get the next colour sharpened while we're waiting. The next one is the um, Tangerine Orange, it's number 557, there it is, um, oops, I'm just going to do this layer now and hope that white is dry, it's not going to be completely dry. This isn't really sitting on it, it's a bit of a nuisance, but never mind. So yes, the tangerine orange now. Um, I'm going to start about here, not right at the bottom. This is very much more of a yellow in my thinking. It's a very pretty colour, I have to say. Now I can try and over this. Mm. I might try to put a bit more white on there in a bit. So I'm trying to cover all the areas where I put orange and then take it up, sort of fade it as you go up. leaves are pretty. I'm trying to think about what to do with those. I've got some berries as well. This is a springtime book. I suppose we do get berries in the spring. Um, I'm going to think that's a bit of that branch with a bit of moss on. So I'm not going to go over that. Got a bit in there though. We'll get another colour. Don't worry, this isn't our last. There we go. Oh, a little bit up here, up here. Now, oops. I tend to, in my pencils, I do have an apricot orange. I've missed that out. I feel that that's really different. It wouldn't really be part of the sun, sun set. This is a chrome yellow or yellow. It's number three. This might be my last color. I haven't quite decided. We're going to take it all the way up. I think I've gone out of the lines at the top there and over the leaf. Never mind, it'll come together. Actually, um, my husband was talking to me about Quentin Blake. Now, we've been to um, our local um, Wetlands Trust and they've got a Quentin Blake exhibition of some of his pictures that he's never showed before, which is pretty exciting and uh, like his personal collection and uh, a trail and all sorts of Quentin Blake related things. Anyway, so my husband was looking into his, um, being a fan of his anyway, and he said Quentin Blake colours out of the lines on purpose. And I thought, yeah, we just say that as an artist, <laughs> just to excuse it. But he said, 
it creates movement in his character. So one of the pictures he'd done that I was looking at when he was telling me about it actually was a figure and they were walking along with a, uh, a scarf on and there were leaves like blowing in the wind like it was autumn. And so the colour sort of started here, so sort of inside, but went out there. So it was really purposeful, rather than just splodging out all over the place randomly like I do. It had been purposely painted just to the side of the leaf. And uh, and he does a bit of a wash on his paintings, rather than um, anything too specific in the colour area. And uh, it, it was interesting. I mean... It probably did give an idea of movement, but without comparing it to one that was coloured in the lines, I couldn't really know for sure. But it was very interesting, and maybe I will use that as an excuse in future. <laughs> right. I think I'm going to concentrate on this top part next. And um, we've got this branch, so I'm going to grab some browns. I'm going to choose a mid... Mm, yeah, no, a light brown to start with, and then I'm going to use a darker brown as well. Now, on this branch, we've got all sorts of lines and bits and pieces, as if there might be different colour sections, and I'm not really sure how to approach that, so I think I'm going to not worry about them. This is the light brown, it's number 31. Um, hang on. I just turn my paper over, see if there's another name. No. So I'm going to colour the whole of the branch in light brown. I find it quite difficult sometimes to make out what's what in the picture. So I'm just going to colour it all in a evenish layer of light brown. And then I can have a look and a think about what to do with it with regards to adding dark brown. I think it would come up to there like that. There we go. Now with these poly colours, if you press too hard, it's quite difficult to get more than one layer. But So I'm being a little bit gentle with my light brown because I now want to put another colour in. This is the dark brown. It's number 33. And uh, I'm going to think, now where would the branch be darker? Well, I've got, I'm just looking out of my window now and I can see a branch. Not for much longer. Hopefully the trees are being chopped down soon. Hooray! Um, <laughs> I know it sounds a bit bad because seeing a tree out of the window is something a lot of people would love so I'm just doing it dark the tree has darker brown at the bottom of the branches it makes sense where the shadow is um, but um, this tree has its roots in my garden it's knocking over my wall it's um, probably under my house foundations and the tree is so tall, you know, and it's just annoying. So I, was, no, I can still see other trees anyway. Now, so that's a bit of shadow. It still looks a bit plain. So I'm just going to put a few lines to make it look a bit more wood and bark like. If you look at bark, some bark, not the one out my window, it's really smooth, but some bark has these sorts of lines and I think it just gives it a bit more life, maybe? I mean, I don't know. Right, we have leaves and berries. Oh, actually, look, that berry's got a little stalk on. I'm going to just do that stalk in the dark brown. There we go. Now, let's think about leaves first. Um got quite a good selection of different greens. I'm actually going to use this olivey colour. This is number 27, which is the dark olive green. Okay, and I'm going to use this first um, for the on the base of the leaves here. And then just fade it off like that. Okay, and the same on this one. And don't worry, I know it looks a little bit brown. I'm thinking it's because they're near to the tree it might be a bit darker i'm thinking that might be a bit of a berry i'm going to leave that and do it berry colored i'm not sure what berries grow on trees like this but i'm just going to make it up and then this leaf here oh my stomach's rumbling for no reason at all <sighs> 
and I'm thinking, I'm looking down here, we've got a leaf in the box here, so I might do that the same. It looks the same shape, like that. Now my next green, I'm going to use, um, what's that? Yeah, I'm thinking, yes, let's use the light olive green. I think it might make them a little bit dark. This is number, I can't see it, 63 light olive green. I'm going to go over the top of the dark. It darkens it a bit even more. Take it right to the tip. I'm really fading it's going to be another colour on the tip of our leaves to make them look a little bit brighter. Normally I like olive greens, but these are a little bit dull. And uh, But with a bit of addition of colour, we can make them dance. Same. <laughs> My son was singing when we were um, preparing lunch and I said to him, oh, we should find some um, YouTube karaoke and sing together. <laughs> His reaction was fantastic. <laughs> oh dear, he d it was just the face. <laughs> right. Gold ochre, I'm thinking. This is number 28. And I'm thinking if we put it all over, although we've got, I'm just thinking, it was a really silly idea. The sky is yellow. I will work it, I will, I've got a plan. But you can see how that makes that much more cheerful than that. So we'll do that on all of them and then I've got an extra little plan. It's going to end up looking a bit autumnal, but never mind. I don't know if there are many springtime references in this picture, even though it's a spring book. We've forgotten the leaf in the box, haven't we? Did you shout at me? Forgotten it. Forgotten the leaf. It's a flip through I recorded yesterday and I would had forgotten about three pictures I noticed I'd forgotten bits of. There was probably more. Right. Leaf in the box. Light olive green. golden ochre. Right, we're not going to do any more on that one, but on these we're going to put a different colour on the tip. This is the reddish brown number 30, also known as Indian red, depending on what version you've got. I'm going to go on the tip just a bit just so that we can distinguish it from the sky and I think it looks rather pretty. I do like adding a touch of orangey brown to the tips of leaves. Just adds a bit of... just try and blend it in, it doesn't want to work. I'm going to get the yellow back on these in a minute because it's not blending as nicely as I had hoped. It'll get there. Gotta persevere a little bit. And as I said, I'm not gonna do that one because we're right against the red. So here's the yellow again while well, they're golden ochre. And just try and blend it in a bit. That's better. Coming along, and actually, the yellow in the leaf now with the orangey colour there looks like it might be reflecting the sunset, which was a complete coincidence. No, I meant it, <laughs> I had it planned all along. <laughs> uh, I'm not naughty, really. <laughs> right, I'm just having a look at that, I'm gonna white it again. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a mess up, wasn't it? There we go. Okay. Now let's we need to do these berries next. Um I am thinking this colour here. This is a very vibrant colour.
colour. It is 1H2. It is called Dark Violet. And I think it will they will really stand out. Now, with berries, I try to put a few more layers on the outside compared to the middle to make them stand out and look a bit more rounded. It's not very easy with a smaller berry, so I'm really shading what I'm doing. I've got to avoid that wet wet pen over there. Right have been a bit close to the colour of the branch but that's okay for me because I want these characters to be the things that stand out not the um, berries and things. I'm just going to reorganise some pencils if you can uh, bear with me and think about where to go next actually with our picture. Um, how are we doing for time? Oh, to... Why are we at? I haven't decided still whether it's going to be one or two videos. Now, I think we might do, where should we go next? We could do some of the greenery, I think. That helps me because here there's a lot going on and I'm struggling to pick out details. So I'm going to start with this bush here in the background and this bush. I'm going to do all this the same colour. This is the meadow green, number 25, also known as another name, I can't find it, it's on the other side of my piece of paper, um, grass green and I'm going to do all the bushes in this so I think it's uh, a good colour for going up against that sky and I'm not going to mix another colour in here, this is going to be my only colour for these bushes, they're going to be quite plain, so I can put it down in a fairly heavy layer without worrying, because as I said with the poly colour, you, if you put them down too hard you can't blend them, you don't get many layers. It's interesting, a bit different to things like polychromos when you can put about 100 layers down, maybe not 100, but quite a lot. And uh, um, and other pencils as well, but these not so much so. I don't know if it's also the paper. Now I think I'm going to leave it against here. I'm going to sort of come to a natural stop there, and we'll do different colour for the grass. So I feel like this is the edge of the grass. Now I'm wondering whether I should try and make that look like a cloud. If I do, it means I need to put some more in as well, because just one cloud would look very strange. But I don't really think you get white clouds across the sunset, so I think I'm going to try and attack it with a pencil. Oh, is that a bush? Or is that something in the box? And does it matter? It's coloured now. Okay, so I'm going to grab the, what colour was it, this one, this is the tangerine orange, try and colour over that white a bit. Go really gently or else you chip it off. I think that's going to be the best I can do. There we go, I'm just going to leave it there or else I'm going to spoil it. But yeah, it's not ideal, but hey. Right, we have now got grass I said I was going to do next. I've got a spring green which I think I'm going to use for the grass. It doesn't want to come out. It is actually number 23, which is also known as May Green, oddly. And it's a bit of a different colour to the bush, so we can see that it's not the same. It's a nice bright colour, which I like. Now grass would actually be this way. Now this particular pencil has got a bit of pigment in it which is scratching and doing a different colour so it's really important that I do it an up and down way and then it will just look like grass it's standing up on end no it didn't there it's a bit across there but anyway um, that's his belly isn't it don't colour that green <laughs> um, yeah, that's just still part of the grass, isn't it? I'm going to just continue with that and this. I don't think that's a leaf. I think that's supposed to be grass. The leaves are these here, aren't they? 
Here we've got grass up here as well. Now Morgan O'Brien's got a new a matchstick mouse book coming out. I'm trying to work out what that is. Is it shadow? Is it belly? Is it a bit of, I think I'll do it as a bit of fur. Um, yes, um, but I don't know what it's called yet. I mean, I may do by the time this video goes out. But watch, um, keep an eye on my Facebook page and my Instagram because when I find out, I will, um, I will share the news as soon as I know anything. Um, I can't really share it on YouTube because, well, unless I do it in my on my community page, but I don't usually use that for that sort of thing. It's just that um, my videos are so far behind that I can't really share on there, on here. Because I'm actually getting ahead at the moment, recording in advance, because I am having a little break. Um, I want to say holiday, I'm not going anywhere. Um, I'm just thinking about these leaves next. Um, what colour is that? Mm. Now I'm going to do the leaves in grass green. I know I did the grass and it wasn't grass green. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's number 59. So yeah, I'm going to have a planning a week off. Um, where I am going to be on social media a lot less. Um, I think it does us all good to have a little break. But I'll be scheduling posts on social media. So, like my TikTok, um, my Instagram, my Facebook, I can schedule posts to appear. So I'll be doing that. So I'm trying to layer this up a bit more at the bottom of the leaf and I'm going to add a different colour to the tip. So I'll be doing that and I will be... Um, I thought maybe I would, I was just thinking this over just now, so I haven't properly planned it yet. I thought maybe I would just check my comments and messages and things once or twice a day, maybe at the beginning and the end of the day. So I'm not sort of on it all the time. And uh, I thought that might work well. Because um, it's going to be um, my boy's 18th birthday and my husband's got there is exam results day first of all my husband's got that day booked off and i suggested to him it's a thursday that he takes the next day off as well make a long weekend of it and then it's my boy's birthdays that weekend they get the results two days before the weekend for before their birthday weekend and um so i thought we could um I'm just trying to look at my calendar actually and decide what I plan. So we take that time off. Um yeah, their uh, their birthday weekend we don't have many plans because of it being their birthday, we want them to choose what they're doing. So we've got that going on and uh, it just felt like it would be nice to have and then a few days after and husband take the time off too and maybe we can go a few places or do things even if the very grown up adult boys <laughs> my babies will be grown up don't want to come with us um, we can do a few different things so for the tips I'm going really pale with the yellowish green or the bice green number 22 I'm going to give it a sharpen so it's going to look quite different um, once I put this on top. Hopefully not too much like this colour. No, that's good. I'm just going to blend it in about halfway. Um, yeah, so I thought I would do that and it would be rather good to just not be on social media so much, just for a change, and to not be recording and editing, which, as much as I like recording, editing isn't so much fun. It's okay. And... Um, also, just I find having a bit of a break, and when I come back, I'm more fresh. So I'm trying to get extra videos made now, so that I can take that time off. And uh, it should be rather nice. I thought we could have a few trips to places and things like that. Hopefully, see what everyone else wants to do. Of course, 
Right, so here's our greenery done. I'm not sure what this is. I quite like to do it as a flower because it's quite bright. And uh, so I'm going to grab a pink. Um, the uh, French pink, whoops. Pencils are jumping everywhere. This is the French pink. It is number 131. Has it got a different name? Yeah, pink. So pink. <laughs> and it's not very sharp. I'm just going to make it a bit darker in that bit there and a bit lighter towards the edge. I'm thinking because this is a springtime book, I might have some flowers, because it might be supposed to be a, a, a another leaf. But anyway. Right, let's think about worm. Now I tend to do worm in apricot or salmon or something like that. This is apricot orange, which is 357. And let's do worm. Now I tend to always do worm similarly. So just put some color all over him. Like that, and then a little bit extra here where he's in shadow. Well, that's not a very nice noise outside. Some sort of hedge trimmer, leaf blowery type thing, like that. Really straightforward. Now, um, tortoise. Let's do turtle tortoise. Tortoise next. Now I'm thinking skin in green, shell in brown. That's my thought. And I've got a couple of greens left that I still haven't used. I've got a nice selection of greens. This is 26, which is dark green. And I'm going to do hmm, some of the skin darker. I'm thinking these circles. Let's do those first. I want these to be quite dark. I think that's a big one there. Like that. And then I'm thinking where it's going to be shadowy. In here. Do you think the main side of his mouth will be green? I'm not really sure. It is now. A bit under here. I'm just thinking about where there would be shadow. Here it's drawn in for me. Maybe under there, maybe on the edges. Like that. Around the knee. Like that, maybe along the edge of the shell. Let's try that under the eye. Now we have a very light pea green or number 24, and that's the colour I'm going to use for it. I'm going to use this quite lightly because I may want to add more of the um, darker green on top. But I'm thinking it's quite a different green to what we've used already, so it's going to stand out. It's, we're not going to mistake him for a leaf. Which is a good thing, obviously. So it's actually still um, still July when I'm recording this because of me wanting to get ahead. And uh, but my one son is streaming, which means that uh, um, we can't talk next door anyway. So might as well come in and record. Sometimes I just think, oh, I fancy doing that picture. I'll just share it with everyone. You can see I'm just doing harder colouring or a bit more in some areas than others. Just where I'd sort of marked out with my darker one anyway. Which is fun. I've got a very busy month in August. Anyway, I'm taking a bit of time off. Maybe it wasn't the best idea because I've got a lot of days out planned anyway. We're uh, 
we've got because it's my boy's birthday and their nephew's birthday we've got a family get together for that which is nice we've got a different family get together because some family visiting which would be nice I've got an orthodontist appointment for my son which is in different which is in the town my parents live go and visit them afterwards which will be nice too so it's all nice things it's just making sure I've got enough work done to uh, to get it fit it all in right I think that's okay I'm quite happy with him now his shell as I said browns I think I'm gonna grab this one this is number 68 which is the burnt umber I'm just checking um 68 where are you yes burnt umber now I'm gonna do a light layer and then have a think about how to add a little bit of texture to this we don't want it to be mixed up with the tree but I don't think it will be um what am I thinking well maybe each of the segments would be I'm thinking maybe it'd be darker around the edge of each of these a bit lighter towards the center of them that's how I'm gonna do them anyway usually they sort of stick up and the, um, the center is raised compared to the sides so if we make this center lighter it might sort of give that impression and even if it doesn't it just makes it look a bit different to how to just plain coloring worked a little bit actually and his tongue I'm thinking maybe we'll go back in with our Pyrrhal is it Pyrrhal? no French pink sorry I'm not remembering the name properly there we go oh I think he's cute now we've got mouse and mouse is box we we'll just get the box done first got, an, got one brown we haven't used which is here this is the number 32 it's the natural sienna um, also called brown so we we'll use that for the box I'm just going to use a light layer I'm assuming all these things in the box are for him to eat not mouse um, tortoise now I'm thinking maybe it's a bit darker where these lines are maybe we'll just add a bit of darkness here and there shadow under the arm maybe make that really dark because it's you can't see in there maybe there we go now we have got various bits in here and I'm thinking is this an apple probably let's do it in red I know we've got the red sunset but I'm going to use the um, scarlet red it's a slightly different red it's number 601 uh, yeah and uh, Let's make it look really shiny. Can you see I've left a white bit? And then this side a bit darker. And then a little bit lighter in the middle. There we go, shiny apple. Let's make this into, what's that? A nut? What, what do tortoises eat? I'm going to use the reddish orange number five, which is also just called orange. For this, I'm thinking orange. I'm not going to do shine on this one because orange skin doesn't really shine. Uh, I'm still unsure what that is. Could be a bit of a carrot. Oh. Uh, I think I'm going to do it green. Just make it green. I'm going to use the spring green number 23, which is also the May green, just to make it green. I think that makes sense. Now that little stalk, 
needs to be in brown. This is the dark brown, number 33. There. Now, mouse, time to do mouse. Now, I tend to start, I'm just going to erase where I went massively out of the lines. I tend to start with ears, hand, tail. Um, now, I sometimes use the same colour as mouse. And I sometimes use a pink or sometimes use a mixture of both. I think I might use a mixture of both. So I'll grab the pink to start with. This is the French pink. Okay, and I'm just going to do, again, a lightish layer. I think feel that it's a bit too pink. So I'm going to put the apricot colour on top to uh, tone it down a little bit. So ear and hand, oh and foot, I wonder if that's the other foot, that's how I'm going to do it, inside of mouth, there we go, now we're going to grab the apricot orange, the um, oh, 357, is it got a different name, no and go over the top gently and it just sort of tones it down a tad he doesn't look the same colour as, as worm but he just looks slightly less neon <laughs> she sorry that stick mouse is a girl if you go to Morgan O'Brien's website find out as it tells you about match stick mouse that she's a girl and she's a witch there we go now, Matchstick Mouse herself, whoops. Um, I tend to like doing the, the face bit and the tummy a lighter colour to the fur. We could do her grey, I'm thinking, because we've done a lot of brown already. I'm always a little bit unsure whether to do a grey or brown. I'm going to do a grey. This is the light bluish grey, number 34, and I'm going to use that for the face. I'm going to leave the nose white. If you look on the front, that's how she's done. White bit and white tooth. But obviously the rest of her colour is going to be different. So this is... I'm putting down a fairly hard layer because it's quite a pale colour. I want you to see it but I keep it fairly even a bit down here on her tongue there um, yeah and then a dark grey so we have got the number 71 which is the medium grey okay Oh, the last one, light bluish grey, actually has, is sometimes called bluish grey. Just for confusion's sake, I'll give you both names. <laughs> I'm not trying to confuse you on purpose. Now, if you can see lines as you colour, it doesn't matter, because she's got fur. But, um, try and keep your lines in the direction of the lines that are drawn already then it makes sense now hat colour is always the thing that I tend to leave till last I tend to see what colours I've got left that I haven't used or whether I want to do it the same as anything but uh, I'm just going to do a little nose. I use a black. This is the 36, the ivory black. What I tend to do is try and do a bit darker at the bottom, a little bit lighter at the top as if she's catching the light on the end of her nose. Now hat. Now I think this colour will look nice. This is 177. It's called Lilac Violet. Think. or violet no that's lavender violet sorry lilac violet is sometimes called light violet but to me it looks plummy but anyway 
I'm going to do a light layer all over first. Now some of this is going to be darkened up so I need to be careful that I don't make it too dark already. I mean, you know, I, I don't push down too hard to start with because we've got a few areas that would be shaded um, in the shade, I mean, so we need to put that in. So I'm going to just stop there and grab this is the 182, the dark violet that we've already used for the berries. We're going to use it here. So I'm going to put a bit here. Now I don't want to get it down too hard because I want to be able to put another layer of the lilac violet on top. But I just want to show the shadow and I think using this colour works quite well. So I'm just going to fade that. It'll be dark inside the hat like that. And then I think we might have a bit of shadow in there. A bit coming up here. And then maybe a bit just down there around the ear. Like that. Then I'm going to go back to my lilac violet because I want it to stand out quite dark. But now we've got that darker colour down. We can uh, we can get this one down as well. Just gonna sharpen a little bit. I'm trying to keep the very top of the brim of the hat a bit lighter because it will be catching the light. And you could even put a little bit of yellow on there because of the sun. Not that we can see the sun, but you know what I mean. Like we did on the leaves, completely unintentionally. There we go. I am going to grab just a bit of this gold ochre. Tortoise will be catching it too. And one. I don't know how much it shows up, but it's there. Okay, I think we are done. I had a lot of fun. So uh, I hope that was okay for you. Um, yeah, pity about that little splodge, but happens, 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 you know. Um, so I'm sorry if I messed up anybody else's picture, but hopefully um, it's okay all okay so thank you so much for watching um please like subscribe comment all those things you're so kind to do it but you know it makes a difference to the channel um yes have a super day and happy coloring